What's up YouTube? Um, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch in firmware 2.2 and um, first thing you have to do is open up iTunes on your computer and plug your iPod in. Alright, once you see this screen, the summary on your iPod page, press restore. And you, you can back up if you want, but I don't have, I don't need to, so I just click no. Alright, restore this. And it's going to extract the software. And I'll be back when it's done. Okay, restore is finished. My iPod is restarting. And the next thing you will have to do is wait for it to reboot. Alright, and that should take a minute. And wait from there. Okay, it's being recognized by my computer in about a minute. It should show up in my computer. Alright, there we go. Okay, once you see this screen, set up your iPod. Now, what you do is minimize iTunes. Alright, next thing you do is open up this file that I will put in the uh, description. It's called QuickPone 2.2. Run that file. Allow. Alright, here we go. QuickPone. Okay, make sure your computer is. Um, has iTunes open and Quick Pwn as well, and that your iPod is plugged into your computer. Okay, now once you're ready, uh, click this blue arrow right there. Okay, and it's looking for the firmware that you just uh, restored. All right, once you see the check mark, you can go ahead and click the next blue arrow. Okay, now here's the screen. If you want Cydia, you can download um, everything on there, basically. That's with the jailbreak. Make sure you have a check mark there. Installer, um, I don't really use it, so I'm just not going to check that. And if you want to replace boot logos, instead of the Apple when you turn it on, you can have the pineapple. So if you want that, go for it, but I don't need it. Okay. So all you need to pick Cydia, basically. All right, click the blue arrow. All right, now make sure your device is connected via USB. Okay, all set. Click next. Okay, I'll put the camera down. Follow the on-screen instructions. Hold down the home button for five seconds. Hold it down. Two, three, four. Now. Hold the power button and home together. Got the power button and home together. And then let go. Until you just have that. Okay. So you just have the home button. And now it says continue to hold it for 20 seconds. Now this caught me off guard there. Because I'm trying to hold one hand the camera and then another hand the iPod. But it still worked out. So that's home button for 10 seconds. No. First you do the home button for 5 seconds. Then when it tells you to do home button and power button for 10 seconds together. And then, and you do that without letting go of home. And then after that, you let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Even though it's, uh, it's not highlighted anymore, I'm going to keep holding the home button until it says successfully jailbroken. So that's how it does. Alright, once you see this, Pwner's process appears to have completed successfully. I'm going to let go. Okay, and set your iPod down. 
and just wait for this is what your iPod should be looking like right now and just wait for this this uh ponage process to complete and then after that your iPod will be jailbroken Yep, it's just almost halfway there. And once you um see this, it should restart and then on your springboard there'll be new icon called Cydia and that's an uh program which lets you download all types of third party apps. Those include games such as some Pac Man knockoffs. NES emulators, GBA emulators, um, what else? Preferences, boss pre special preferences that let you customize your iPod. Um, Winterboard, which gives you theme, lets you uh, have themes. All right, look at that. There it is. iPod Touch, all nice and jailbroken. As you can see, you have the Cydia the Cydia um, icon that's where you download the stuff and it's gonna the first time you open it it's going to be organizing so let me join this Wi-Fi okay first time it's gonna reorganize packages and um, play around with it because with City, you can have a lot of possibilities, a lot of themes, a lot of games, a lot of tools you can use, such as MX Tube, which allows you to download YouTube videos, or let's say Categories, which allows you to put your regular applications into folders and organize your iPod home screen, stuff like that, and um. So it's going to respring now, but this is how you jailbreak your iPod, and hope to see you soon. Later.